Previously, the greatest demon lord had enough of his perfect life so he reincarnates to another world as a boy named Ard, where he plans to be just average. However, in this new world everyone is extremely weak so he ends up being even stronger than before. He enrolls the Academy of Magic and quickly becomes the most popular student. One day a magic battle competition is held, where one of the teachers called Jessica reveals herself to be a king of dragons. She attacks everyone and kidnaps Irene. Weiss gets healed by Ard, telling him what happened to Irene as soon as he regains his consciousness. Learning that Ard promises he will bring her back himself. Hearing his resolve, Weiss allows Ard access to the royal treasury so he can grab whatever magical gear he desires for his mission. Coming back to her senses, Irene finds herself restrained in front of a large monster. Elzard is present, explaining that the creature is going to devour Irene, using her as a sacrifice to revive an evil god that was slain by Varvados in the past. Her desire is to destroy this world that has grown weak with things like love and friendship. Irene is convinced that Ard will come to save her soon enough, but Elzard wonders if she's okay with that. After all, if he learns what Irene really is, he will certainly grow to hate her as another monster. All geared up, Art arrives just in time to prevent Irene from getting devoured. This time he is not holding back and in the blink of an eye he unleashes his magic upon the demons and monsters present. He wipes all of them out except for Elzard, who is forced back. After freeing Irene from her restraints, he turns his attention towards Elzard. At that point, Elzard reveals the truth about Irene to Art, telling him that she is a Laville. Meaning, she is the true royalty that carries the blood of an evil god within them. It turns out that the true ruler of the land is Weiss, who is ruling by proxy through Rosa because of the evil blood that is coursing through his bloodline. However, learning this does not bother Art at all. Instead, he declares that Irene is a good and kind person, regardless of what her origins are. This pisses Elzer off and she attacks Ard, determined to kill him as painfully as possible. At first, Ard pushes her back with a magic weapon he brought with him, but once Elzer shifts into her true form, he has to take the fight seriously. Invoking his true power, he lifts the seal holding his magic restraint and summons forth Lydia, who takes the shape of his sword. Coordinating with Lydia, he brings the fight to Elzard once again, going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the dragon. Elzard tries to discourage Ard with her negative emotions, but Irene is there to cheer him on, snapping him out of it. With renewed determination, Ard releases even more of his power. This causes him to temporarily take his original form as Varvados in full body armor. In this form, he is able to end the fight by calling an immense amount of magic for a devastating spell. Unleashing the spell on Elzard, he completely overpowers her magic, killing her on the spot. Dismissing Lydia and returning to his usual form, Ard meets up with Irene, who is determined to get stronger so she can stand side by side with Ard in the future. The little red-haired girl has spent a long time in the dungeon getting stronger. Finally happy with her progress, she decides it is time to exit and see what her big sister Lydia is up to. However, she is shocked to learn that a lot of time has passed since she entered the dungeon and the world has changed. A masked man appears before her, explaining that it has been 3,000 years since she was last outside of the dungeon as dungeons have a completely different flow of time within them. The masked man is familiar with the red-haired girl, revealing that her name is Sylphie. While she cannot exactly remember who the masked man is, he claims to have served Varvados together with Lydia. He tells Sylphie that Varvados has died and reincarnated into the body of Ard. And if she wants to know what happened to Lydia, she will need to ask Ard about it. The headmaster is having a meeting with Ard, Irene, and Ginny, showing them the threatening letter he got from someone named Lars about the upcoming school festival. In regards to the threat, he wants them to take part in the school festival's play, while keeping an eye out for any signs of trouble. Back in the classroom, they are pondering how they will pull this off, when Sylphie bursts into the room. She immediately starts looking for Ard, spilling the secret that he is in fact the reincarnation of Varvados, and demanding that he tells her everything that happened while she was gone. Ard keeps denying her accusations, which only makes her want to duel him so she can force the answers out of him. At that point, Irene steps in, reprimanding Sylphie for being so rude towards Ard. Sylphie immediately notices the resemblance between Irene and Lydia, declaring that she wants to be her friend. But Irene refuses, which makes Sylphie upset, demanding to get her duel with Ard. Olivia is present for all of that and being very interested in what Sylphie is suggesting that Ard is, she pushes Ard to accept the duel. The duel between the two is on a whole other level, as Sylphie is very strong and Ard is trying to not show his true powers in front of Olivia. Ard still emerges victorious, but Sylphie refuses to accept the outcome. She summons her magical sword and continues the fight Ard with it. 
Olivia suddenly steps in, interrupting the duel and giving Sylphie a stern talking to as her magical sword released a powerful miasma that made all the present students sick. Sylphie is still upset at Ard, but Irene steps in as well. By reprimanding Sylphie, she reminds both her and Ard of how Lydia used to act. This makes Sylphie break down in tears and apologize for her behavior. In order to beat the pretentious noble students in popularity during the school festival, the class decides who will be the best choice to participate in the theater play. Knowing that they will need more than the play to succeed in order to win, Jenny suggests they open an erotic maid cafe as a class project. At first, the girls are reluctant to wear such embarrassing uniforms. But Jane reminds them that during their time serving as maids, all of them will have the chance to serve and charm Art as much as they like. With the prospect of potentially making Art fall for them, all of the girls from their class are excited for the festival. Much to Irene's annoyance while patrolling the festival grounds, Art is pressured by Olivia to participate in the upcoming sword fighting tournament because she is eager to have a match against him. Before the tournament begins, Art checks in on the erotic maid cafe. Just as he arrives, Sylphie is violently throwing out a pervert who groped them. Ard takes over, reprimanding Sylphie for using too much violence, while fixing the wall she broke in the process. The cafe is quite popular, and once the maids notice Ard, they are determined to give him a full service. Jenny makes Ard relax for a bit and allow them to serve him, which makes Ard embarrassed as all of the maids are trying to seduce him. Irene finds them and declares that she will be the only one serving Ard, changing into a maid uniform to fit with the rest of the maids. The announcement for the beginning of the tournament is broadcasted, which makes Irene and Ginny spark their rivalry over Ard once more. Deciding that they will settle the score from before, they also sign up for the tournament. In the tournament, Ard, Ginny, Irene, Sylphie, and Olivia all manage to get through the preliminaries. Having some time before their next matches, Irene and Sylphie return to the cafe to help out with work, while Ginny takes Ard to participate in the beauty contest. While Kenny is taking the stage, Ard runs into Elrado, who seems to have changed quite a bit since their confrontation. Elrado regrets what he did to Ginny, explaining that he was brought up to think everyone else is trash. This combined with the fact that Ginny sucked at trivial things made him vent his frustrations on her. But that only made her think less of herself. Seeing that Ginny is participating in the contest, he is relieved, appreciating the fact that Ard is able to help her break that curse of inferiority which took hold of her heart. Stating how he is too weak to be honest, Elrado leaves before the results of the competition are announced. It turns out that Ginny and Ard have taken the first place in their categories, being voted the most attractive in the academy. The tournament resumes, and it is time for the match between Ard and Olivia. Even though he planned to let Olivia win, her ferocious sword skills push Ard to reflexively use defensive magic. Since using magic was forbidden, he immediately gets disqualified while Olivia gets blasted far into the distance. At long last, Irene and Ginny get to cross swords, both of them determined to win so they can do with Ard what they want to. In the end, it is Irene who is victorious, declaring how she is the one that is going to be by Ard's side. Another pause before the final match of the tournament is held. In the meanwhile, it is time for the theater play that the Academy prepared for. It is another play from Varveda's Conquests, with Ard playing his past self, Irene playing Lydia, and Sylphie playing the evil king they were facing. While performing the glorified play, Art is reminded of the events from his past life that this play is depicting. He remembers how Sylphie always was doing her best to try and be helpful, but as she was not the smartest, it often made for quite a bit of trouble. Like that time when she placed magical mines all over the battlefield to intercept enemy troops, but she ended up trapping their own troops as well. Even though Sylphie and Lydia were not related by blood, Lydia has adopted her and acted like a bigger sister would always scolding her when she did something bad and praising her when she did good. Because of that, Sophie got very attached to Lydia. The play turns out to be a huge success, but as they are ending the scene, Sophie runs off thinking she saw Lydia. It turns out she was mistaken, and while feeling sad for not being able to find Lydia, she is approached by the same masked man from before. The final match of the tournament between Irene and Sophie begins, but Sophie seems like something is off, behaving very cold and distant. As soon as the match starts, Sylphie dashes behind Irene, knocking her out with a single blow. She takes the reward for winning in the tournament, which is a replica of the Divine Weapon. Demanding to meet up with Ard, she waits for him underneath a special tree with the replica sword in hand. It is said that one of Irene's ancestors sealed something important in this tree. Ginny and Irene sneak into the bushes to see what is going to happen as Ard approaches Sylphie. It is then revealed that Sylphie's eyes have gone red with rage as she has a burning desire to kill him. 
Chanting an invocation, she releases the seal, which resonates with the replica sword, revealing that it is actually the original one, but its powers were sealed inside of the tree. Drawing her own sword as well, Sylphie Duel wields two legendary weapons and charges at Ard with the intent to kill. Ard avoids her attacks and flies away, trying to figure out what is wrong with Sylphie. She follows after him, chasing him down in the air. Their flight is observed by the masked man while the fireworks signaling the end of the festival go off in the background. It turns out that it was the masked man who showed her what Ard did to Lydia. In that vision, she saw Ard killing Lydia. The masked man put Sylphie under a spell to control her while she was overcome by grief, driving her mad with rage towards Ard. She manages to catch up with Ard, striking him down from the sky. Irene and Ginny catch up with her and try to stop her, but the two of them are no match for Sylphie. Just as Sylphie is about to kill Irene, Ard gets back on his feet. With his true power released to the point where he assumes his old appearance once again. This makes Sylphie focus her attention towards him, and the two of them clash. Hey, thank you for staying all the way till the end. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like. It takes only a second, but it means everything to us. Have a great day and see you in the next video.